back to another epi. Oh, I got up early today. I had like a slow morning, had breakfast, watch vlogmas. It's time to get ready. I have like a busy morning-ish. I have a meeting at 10. And then after that, I'm going to a holiday event. Um, it's with Babe Lash and Mixers. There's also going to be like a girl that are doing blowouts. So I'm just going to like put my hair back into like a slick bun because I'm going to get my hair done. So yeah, it should be fun. I'm going alone. I just like don't really have any close friends here yet. <laughs> so I don't want to like ask someone. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make friends. I'm kind of good at that. I don't know. It's weird because when I go to places alone, I feel like that's when I'm my most outgoing self because I'm like, oh, I don't have to like, you know, like keep someone occupied if I bring someone, you know what I mean? So I like literally try to talk to everyone. So yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully it makes some new friends here in Utah because I've only been here for like what? A little over two weeks, maybe three weeks. Um, so yeah. Time to check the wardrobe. What are we gonna wear today, Maya? Are we feeling this green shirt? Honestly, no, because I wear it all the time. So let's try something new. Maybe this new scarf that I got from Target. Kind of cute, but also I just don't think I was feeling that white shirt. So let's look for more options. Do we have any? What about her? It's kind of cute. I like the blue. It's very warm with the leather pants. Kind of a moment. I think, I think I'm gonna go with this. All right, now let's get the hair slicked back and ready for this blowout. It's actually my first blowout, so I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I'll see the makeup, but be quiet because Ronnie's sleeping still. Actually, no, first we need light. The light makes it, yep, much better. Okay, then we're just gonna go on with our day, doing our everyday makeup. I do this makeup routine like every time I do makeup, so it's pretty repetitive. So yeah, cute, all done. So I'm about to join my meeting, but <laughs> I was watching TK's vlog and I just thought it was funny because she was talking about how like just m how much vlogmas is and I was like oh my god yeah like in my head and then she was like I don't know what I'd do without like an editor um ev almost everyone that does vlogmas has an editor and I was like I literally laughed out loud I was like I do not have an editor and then I was like damn girl I pat on the mother forking back <laughs> I just said another fork in because of TK. But yeah, I was like, wow, literally everyone that I watch on Vlogmas has an editor to edit their videos. So it's like, yeah, I feel pretty accomplished for that. Not gonna lie. It's so much work, but it kind of like pays off because you're like, I did that all by myself, you know? great i love it was like a recap of the year um we were both telling each other like things that we could approve on and both of us didn't really have anything bad to say we were like i love how you do this i love how you do that <laughs> um honestly the people i work with are so organized just like me and i love that that's what i i love organized people it's they're my people I'm thinking about adding someone to the creative gray cloud team. I'm not going to pick someone just to have someone on my team. I really want them to be like me. I want them, they need to be organized. I need an organized person. I can't deal with unorganized people. I really need them to be creative and bring ideas to the table. And yeah, honestly, just a planner. I want someone to help me grow this team. So if anyone knows anyone, DM me, email me. Um actually email the gray cloud email because that would probably get to me better but yeah now we are going to go to the event i'm gonna get a blowout for the first time y'all i've literally never got a blowout also my hair is a little bit greasy it's okay because they're gonna wash it let's go it's an orum i feel like a lot of things are an orum which is kind of fine because orum's like only like 20 minutes away from my house so i'm listening to a new what we said episode life is great okay i'm here and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little scared to go in alone <laughs> okay.
honest, I walked in there. No, no one talked to me right away. And so I got my food and I sat down alone. And I was like, I want to leave. This is so embarrassing. And then someone from Baylash came up and talked to me and that made me feel like honestly so much better. Cause I was like, I am so alone right now. Everyone had like their like group, not even group. It was just like pairs of two people. And I didn't want to like go up. I don't know. It was just awkward. And then she talked to me and then she brought me to other people and then I started talking to other people and then the mixers girls that invited me came, I don't know where they were in the beginning, but they just came out of nowhere. And so I started talking to them and then I was getting my hair done and then other girls were coming up to me just like introducing themselves because I'm like a new face. I feel like I don't, no one knows me here. So I, so I like have to like, you know, introduce myself and I made so many new friends, literally. I'm actually really excited because I hope I get to hang out with them because honestly, like I said, I don't have many friends here yet. And so, yeah, they were so cute, so fun. Yeah, I was scared for the first two minutes that I walked in there, but then after that, I was just talking to everyone and it was so fun. And I was like, yes, you know, Maya, I'm proud of you for like kind of going out of your comfort zone. You're talking to everyone, you're doing great, but let's see what we got. We got these two little things. Let's open them. Yes! more mixers dude i'm excited we love mixers it's literally so good they were telling stories about like how much her time has helped and it was just like but i don't want to get too tmi but like yeah and then i'm excited to try all of the babe lash stuff i've tried the serum my mom actually uses it like every day so i was excited oh i need scissor that mm, maya you are amazing and that's all being a girl and carrying everything that you would ever possibly need tweezer okay essential serum so this is like their lash serum then they have enhancing conditioner Ooh, and one of the girls was talking to me about this i was like what is a conditioner you put it on your lashes and it helps like the growth and it helps it it helps them become darker too thought that was cool enriching mascara i don't need this now because i have lash extensions but i'm sure i'll take them off sometime and liquid eyeliner nice i kind of want to like put this on now spice up the makeup look a little bit that was great i as you guys know i was so nervous to go in because i was like i don't know anyone here i'm going in alone but it turned out great everyone is so nice here seriously and the cool thing is like i've lived a lot of places and i feel like a lot of girls are like fake nice and like they kind of just like want you for something or i don't know they just like don't but here everyone's genuinely nice and you can tell that they're just genuinely nice and i just like love that about utah girls so now we are going to go get some spray paint because i need to paint my nail rack because i don't want it to be white and it's gonna snow tomorrow and i can't put that out in the snow i'm spray painting in the snow that just like would not work what else do i need to do i swear there was something else oh, oh my god i'm getting caramel apples i'm so excited damn this girl got a big house and she got a tennis court <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I did look in her house because I was amazed at how big it was and right away, white with a black piano. Just grand. Nice. I would like a house tour, please. Look at this. These are freaking huge. Oh, I'm so excited. Ronnie, oh my god, I'm surprised Ronnie with these. I didn't tell him I was coming to get them. But actually, Brynn, the girl who does my hair, she posted on her Instagram. She was like, oh my god, you guys need to buy these. They're so delicious. So I was like, bet. I have a big old sweet tooth. So I snagged them. They were $8 per apple. I was like, but I bet they're delicious. I bet they're so worth it. Put your hand in it. Is that a caramel apple? Yeah. No. Is it? Whoa, oh my fucking god, that's huge. It has huge. white chocolate and caramel. It's giant. Did you? I got four of them. Oh my god, why'd you buy four? Did mm -hmm. you buy four? Yeah. Apparently they like delicious. They look really good. I know. Nice. Alright, another exciting thing. Do you know what these are? They look like bowls. Bowls. More boxes and garbage? Damn. Careful, there's one in there. Look at how... Oh, freaking adorable this is. Yeah, those are pretty sick. 
I'm obsessed. I got it from Crate and Barrel, if you guys are wondering. Do you want some of that? I'm crying. Yeah. It's, it's your drink. <laughs> I changed into spray paint clothes, and now I'm gonna spray paint this bad boy. Okay, too much, too much. There. Yeah, like that light, and then you go over it again, trust me. Looks pretty good to me. I changed, I'm in literal pajamas, and it's like six, maybe? 520. <laughs> I just love good old lounge comfy pajamas. These ones are from Cozy Earth. They're from Cozy Earth. And wow, they're honestly one of my favorite pajamas I have because the material is so nice on me. I am working with Princess Polly for a YouTube and Instagram thing. So I'm going on their website right now and like creating outfits because I'm, I think I'm going to do like a style guide. So I'm trying to like get outfits that, you know, look good together. It's so hard because I have so many things in my cart right now. So I'm trying to like take out the ones that I wouldn't need to like for like an outfit. It's so hard. So many cute things. It's actually going to be in Vlogmas. So you guys will see it sometime within the next couple weeks. And I'm kind of hungry. So I want to start to make dinner. But I also don't really want to make dinner because it's not that exciting of a meal. We're just having chicken. Oh, I can make my new corn roll casserole. That will, will excite me to make dinner. <laughs> I just made the cornbread casserole. I'm actually really excited to try it. It smells kind of good. So, yeah, I am. it has to go in the oven for an hour. So I'm like, when do I make the chicken? Because the chicken also has to bake in the oven. Or I can make it over the stovetop, I think. I don't know. I don't cook chicken alone a lot. So, I don't know. Let's get this in the pan. Normally it's supposed to go in like a cute casserole dish and I actually have to too because it's just me and Ronnie eating it. But I don't have a cute casserole dish. I want to find like a cute white one or something. Like it just smells good. Okay, so I'm actually really mad because I didn't realize that the chicken we had was frozen and it's like hella frozen. And everything else is like 20 minutes almost done. And like to thaw chicken takes like hours. Frick. I also made Brussels sprouts, so I kind of like have like a full meal. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna have like two sides and then like crab. I have this like, um, I really like imitation crab with like melted butter. It's so good. I honestly don't think Ronnie will want that. But also I'm like, I don't really think I need chicken because A, I wasn't gonna eat that much. I'm not a huge fan of just like regular chicken with season seasoning on it. And I have a caramel apple, so I wanna eat that. Honestly, it's fine. I'm just kind of mad because I wanted to test my chicken making skills. I even had my pan ready, but whatever. Update on the cornbread casserole. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Me and Ronnie both really liked it. Definitely gonna be a reoccurring dish. A good side dish. It's kind of different. I feel like no one normally makes that. The Brussels sprouts were great and the crab was great. Ronnie ate the crab too. It was, it was honestly like one of my favorite meals. Kind of a really random meal, but kind of hits. I finished the nail rack. Let me show you, it looks so good. Look how good it looks. It literally matches so well. It looks beautiful. It's not even sticky anymore. So honestly, I should probably put all my polishes back on. Amazing, just filled it back up. It looks great, I love it. I cut them up into like perfect little bite sizes. Let's try it. Oh my. Round of applause for that girl. She killed that. Well, I'm gonna eat this and edit this vlog, but I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed. Why did I just like sing that? I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed.